Right, so wind tunnel versus velodrome, it's always like a good question. Both play like their parts. The, the fact of the, the wind tunnel is that you can probably get like more runs in, uh, you, you know, like in the, in the course of the time that you, you're here. And obviously like what we can test in the wind tunnel is you can test at like different speeds and different yaw angles. Like generally when you're testing on, you know, you're testing the velodrome, you've got like one degree of yaw. Where here we can do like a yaw sweep, we can run at different speeds. It's just like a much faster process. But the art of all of this is, it's who's ever, win, you know, running the wind tunnel. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. What I like about the wind tunnel is the process. Uh, if you've got like a great team around you, that you can uh, you can make the changes swiftly, but you can also understand like you know like holding the position in the tunnel, and you know like you just got a much more bigger parameters of you know the products that you can test. Uh, but also what I love about it is, and this is where wind tunnel goes wrong a lot of the time, is you can quickly get back to kind of doing a. You know, like if you found something that you see that works like very well, you can quickly go back to do it, back to it and do like a yaw sweep on it. You could go back to like your standardized setup just to make sure that there's no drift in like the wind tunnel data. Where on like the velodrome, like for most people, I generally find that you've probably got 10 good runs in you. Do you know, like here we might get like 20 runs out of a, a wind tunnel session in two and a half hours. But on the track, a lot of people, they kind of, they've not got the skill to actually ride the track properly. Uh, like a pro can do it because they, you know, like they understand like how to hold the bike. They've probably done like some track testing previously or they've ridden the track. But for like most people, like what the track will always do, it will drift you like into the banking. So trying to get like, you know, like the, you know, the warm watts, I, I find that very hard to find like in the track where here at Mercedes, like we can probably find like half of what. But the art of all of this is, it's actually understanding how you react, what's sustainable in like the real world. Where what I see a lot of the time is, we all know that, you know, like a lot of the time is people are ending up with these crazy positions and they can't see down the road. So that's the art of having the team that you've got around you. But for me, I generally prefer like the wind tunnel, providing I'm doing it with the right people. You, you can just find a lot more gains. And then the art of all of this is, you, you, you can almost like go away with a couple of positions that you can try like in like the real world. Where with the track, I just think there's much more variation in like the data. Uh, unless you're very good at, you know, like you've done like a lot of testing and you understand like how to utilize like the track efficiently. Yeah, I, I do think like for, for some people like testing on like the track, what's great about it is the fact that you can test at like power where, you know, like if you, you want to test something, at, you know, like say if you could, you know, like your threshold is like 300, then you can go to the velodrome and actually test at like the power. A lot of pros like it that way because they can kind of just see how it's all interacting. Where obviously on the, the wind tunnel is, what well, you generally ride in like 100 to 150 watts so it's very important that somebody that's taking that session they can kind of correspond like how that's working out on, on onto the road so that's when the the track i would say that kicks in you know like you, you can get benefits from like both of them but i don't think you can do as many runs on the track that I'd call quality runs. This is like, there's less variation in like the data. So there's a place for both of them, but I think a lot of it comes down to, a lot of the time it's who's taking that test and the quality of the ride that it's kind of going into that session really. 